Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're going to be doing a fall tag. Let's get going. So, my shelf does look different. There is a vlog coming for it, but that will happen in October. Something exciting is happening in October. And I'm actually pre-recording everything for October. So, that's exciting guys. Something is coming. So. Let's get going. So number one, what book always reminds you of fall and autumn? Uh, that is The Fall is Grim by Catherine Purdy and What the Women Know is by Isabella A. Benes. Number two, what is your favorite autumn book cover? So I actually have a few and that is Ghost of Harvard by Francesia Sanitella, Small Angels by Lauren Owen, Divine Ridge by Loanne G. Smith, the Woods, are, the Woods Are Waiting by Catherine Greeny. Number three, what is your favorite animal drink to read with? Nothing? <laughs> like, I'm not the type of person to have these kind of things while I'm reading. I just want my book and that's what I want to focus on. So I just drink water and that's about it. Number four, do you prefer to read late at night or early in the morning? I like to read late at night, but I do read sometimes in the morning, um, but I just really like to read late at night. Number five, Halloween is coming! What is your favorite spooky read? I have also a lot. That is Hamlock Island by Kelly Armstrong, The Chateau by Jacqueline Golis, The Hotel by Louise Mumford, The Haunting of Alejandra by V. Castro, Her Letter Flowers by Shannon Morgan, the Spirit Engineer by A.J. West, Grey Mist Fair by Francesia Zappia. She's also the author of Cats and Gemma, which to this day, I still don't know how to feel about that book. I am feeling like the author was on something <laughs> because that book was like one of the most eccentric books I have ever read in my life. So yeah, I just don't know how to feel about the book. <laughs> Uh, and lastly, mine is House of Moods and Women by Erin A. Craig. She is the author of House of Salt and Sorrow, which I have loved. So I'm excited for the sequel. Number six, what is the ultimate comfort for you? Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gaughan. I love that book so much, so I'm excited to read the sequel. Foul Heart Huntsman, so. I kind of want to reread the first book. It's kind of been a while, but I still kind of remember what happened in the first book, but not a whole lot, so maybe I should have been reading more. Uh, number seven, what is your favorite animal reading snack? Uh, cinnamon roll. I love cinnamon rolls, especially homemade. It's just so yummy and delicious, and oh, I love it so much. Number eight, what is your favorite animal candle to burn? Realist reading. Again, I'm not the type that kind of person to have stuff, so I don't have any candles, and honestly, I just don't buy into that thing. How many, what do you want to call for that? <laughs> Number nine, when you're not reading, what is your favorite animal activity? Ooh. I, well, I don't really have much activities, um, I just like to watch like haunted videos on YouTube, <laughs> that's my jam, I like haunted stuff, so, you know, hauntings, paranormal, ghost investigations, I just really am attracted to all of those, so I think it's quite fascinating that we have another life here on Earth, so, I don't know, let me know if you believe in the ghosts or spirits, let me know. Number 10. What is your autumn fall reading list? Uh, so I have Foul Hot Huntsman by Chloe Gog, Immortal Longings by Chloe Gog, Epic of Helenia, Helenthea by M.J. Pankey, Zala by S.J. Jones, and Throne of Fallen by Kerry Maniscalco. Okay, so those are all the tag questions that are on there. I will also link the original creator down below. So you can also check her out, and yeah, so this was a fun tag. I'm really excited for fall and fall, autumn. Yesterday, September 23rd was the first day of autumn. 
I can already feel the vibe of it and the weather changing. So I am excited for fall, I really am. It's just my best season, so yeah, but otherwise please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And now I'll see you on my next one. Bye!